So now you might be wondering, well, how do I get the content into my site that people will want to search for? And let's, let's take a look at that, so, or talk about that. So you can have a search bar, you can have uh, category searches, you can have galleries, and how does your content get there? Well, in ArcGIS Hub, we're, we've built something called the Content Library, and you will continue to see this evolve. But what the Content Library does is it, it um, stores what you would like to have surfaced on your site, and you populate your content gallery today by choosing the content in your ArcGIS Online organization that you want to have show up. So these can be private groups. They don't have to be public. They can be private groups of content. They can be public groups. And they can be public groups that are also tagged as open data in ArcGIS Online. So when you create a public group, you have an option to make it an open data group. And what that does is it makes it easily discoverable for others. And um, if other people are making open data sites, they can federate in or add your content to their open data sites. And similarly, you can add their open data to your site. So you can um, be a real clearinghouse for content. And so you add, you select the groups you want from your ArcGIS Online organization, they go into your content library, and then they get serviced in tools like the search tool and your categories. Coming soon, you'll be able to directly upload your content right into the content library within Hub. So you'll be able to add links, um, upload spreadsheets, whatever you'd like right there. And then Hub behind the scenes will do the population in ArcGIS Online for you. You won't have to bounce back and forth. Thank you.